Hi there, and welcome to The Doe Show for Wednesday, February 20th, 2019. I'm Ferris Fair. I'm Babby Dextrous. And, and we're, we're dragging, dragging our heels. heels. We've got another really exciting episode for you today, so let's get right into it. It was a super busy weekend and a very important weekend in Edmonton for drag. And it all kicked off this past Friday at Evolution Wonder Lounge when 50% Fruit Productions put on their latest show, Rosemary's Bay. Written and directed by Zachary Parsons Lazinski slash Lilith Fair and filled with a cast of his usual and unusual <laughs> zany friends. Uh, tell us about the cast. We had Goblin Dix, Chelsea Horrendous, Vanity Fair, Ivy League, and making their debut was Puddin, Indigo, and Godiva. Yes! Uh, it was a super fun show. Uh, you definitely need to check it out. Um, highlights for me were the opening dance number between the three of them with uh, Lilith and Chelsea and Goblin. I thought that was fantastic. Nice. Um, and uh, yeah, I Goblin I, was almost unrecognizable yes. in, in his makeup. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, he often has that extreme makeup. But yeah, until I saw the, I was like, oh yeah, okay, that's Goblin. <laughs> so, Goblin has a way of transforming yeah. himself so often in these production shows. Absolutely. And again, as Rosemary's Bay, as the actual title character, uh, Chelsea was just stupendous. And, uh, and honestly, Rosemary was honestly he, stupendous throughout that. Pudding well. was also wonderful. Uh, but yeah, to me, Chelsea was a, was a highlight the entire weekend long. Just fantastic looks and, and was, was wonderful in the show. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole cast was great. So uh, yeah. as soon as it's up, you should definitely check it out. Uh, we are just tweaking a couple of things to 100% make sure that it's all free and clear, ready to go, and it should be up soon. Congratulations to everyone involved in the production. It was a fantastic show. Uh, thank you to Dean for helping me out on filming that. We wanted to get that from a couple of different angles, and it was definitely mission accomplished. So uh, yeah, you should definitely be checking out those videos soon. On Saturday at the Unitarian Church of Edmonton, the Dragon Youth series put on their latest show. It was a special Valentine's episode. Dragging Valentine's, Chocolates, Roses, and Cupid's Arrow. Oh my! <laughs> uh, this one was hosted by D. Love and uh, someone that uh, was new to us, I believe, Kara S. Maddock. Um, so that was a fun show. Uh, and uh, I definitely really enjoy it when I go to these youth shows and the shows are actually full of the youth performers. Um, yeah, and full of the youth performers. And the youth kill it every single time. They slay the stage. The energy that they put forward and the passion that they show when they are performing is just wonderful to see. Um, the ones that really stood out for me this time, uh, another gay Kyle returned yes. uh, and did a, a stunning performance of Say Something that was uh, really a, a good dance routine as well. Um, and also uh, Cherry Hayes has performed for us before, uh, but this time they performed as Testosterone and performed with Demon Tay, a incredible number of Love is Strange, which, uh, yeah, you should definitely check out those two. Absolutely. They kill it every single time, and we love the names that the performers come up with. Honestly, it is half my fun. I just, yeah, I just like sit there and giggle when I get to hear things. Uh, but yeah, uh, congratulations to all the performers and congratulations to Dragging Youth again on another successful show. And we will see you next month. I think it was like March 20th. Double check about that on their Facebook page. Make sure you are following and subscribing and all those kinds of things so that you are aware of when their next event is coming. Later on on Saturday at Have Mercy Table and Bar, Sister Mary Clarence hosted the latest edition of her Hail Mary and Have Mercy. Uh, it was yet another popular, wonderful show, and she had some fantastic performers, as always. Mm -hmm. This week, they had Flamingo, Indigo, and Ruby Hyman. And uh, a debut, and a debut, I almost forgot, of Simon Surreal. Oh, yeah, right, which is new to our channel, so that's fantastic. And I also want to shout out to Indigo that it was their debut performance at uh, Have Mercy for Hail Marys That's as well. Right. So uh, congratulations to them on that. And thank you to Aberdeen for filming that for us. As always, Aberdeen did a lot of filming this weekend for us. So 
We appreciate it. Absolutely. Aberdeen went above and beyond this weekend, including the next morning was at the Yellowhead Brunch for Go Go Fetch's latest uh, brunch. Uh, this one was, again, a Valentine's episode. Yes, Madame Fetch's Mistress's Valentine's. There you go. Uh, it was yet another fantastic show. I believe that they, uh, both of the seatings were sold out, so congratulations to Gogo. Who did she have there this time? Yeah, it was a sold out show as well. Um, this week at the Yellowhead Brunch, they had John Benet Ramsme, Selena Kuchina, and Sephoria. And all four of them did a wonderfully grouped number of Slumber Party. Very cute, very classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was total camp. It was absolutely adorable. So yeah, you should definitely check out all of those numbers on the channel. Don't forget to check out Yellowhead Brewery on Facebook so that you can catch up on all of the upcoming events for uh, such things like the Drag Brunch and Amani's anti-Valentine's Day, which is coming up at the end of the month and all kinds mm -hmm. of things. So uh, definitely check them out on Facebook for their upcoming events. On Sunday night, as always, the culmination of the Drag Week, and really this time the culmination of the Drag Year, mm -hmm. a very special episode of the Sunday Review, the 2019 Stiletto Awards. One of our favorite events of the year. It truly is just a wonderful evening. Uh, this one was, as usual, hosted by Rob Berwatsky, and he always just does such a wonderful job at setting the tone of uh, celebration and, uh, and, support and support and community. Absolutely. So yeah. uh, congratulations to Evolution for their fantastic event. Um, I honestly had to watch a lot of the performances and talk to people afterwards about who won because I spent a good chunk of the evening in the back pouring champagne for nominees oh. and winners and, and such things. Uh, so As one of the people in the back drinking the champagne, I know I appreciate it. I had a little bit of champagne. I got bit. a little slush. A little bit. A little bit of bamboozled. <laughs> some white tail wasted. Oh, a little uh, bit of that is happening. But it was a, it was a really fun evening, and uh, we uh, were very happy and appreciative and honored to be a part of it in a few different ways, um, including uh, we were actually the opening number for the night. Our little group of friends... The Brunchables yep. uh, finally made their debut as a group on the stage and did a Muppet theme opening number. Uh, it was just silly and campy and, you know, just a little way to kick it off. Uh, we, uh, we didn't realize it, but apparently that is actually how they used to um, start the shows at the Roost for the Betty Ford thing every Sunday. They mm -hmm. used to use that number. So unknowingly to us, we kind of added a little bit of drag history to the show too <laughs> so that was kind of fun uh but uh, yeah we had a last minute cast change mm -hmm. with no vagina flying home for a family emergency mm -hmm. we had cinnamon step up and play the part of miss piggy so we appreciate cinnamon for doing that and absolutely uh thank you cinnamon and thank you to everyone for uh for helping us kick off the night Enough about us, though. There was actually some good performances also <laughs> that evening, uh, including a fantastic number by one Lilith Fair, did something new called Brown Lip Liner, uh, which just continued the trend of the mispronunciation series. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I, I, as said it before, I truly love the way that uh, Lilith has kind of taken this turn and is doing more and more of this style of number. Um, they absolutely mm -hmm. hit home to me and um, yeah it was definitely one of my favorites of the night um, also one of my favorites of the night was again as we were just speaking of cinnamon uh, cinnamon also did a fantastic number it was this mashup from like Lincoln Park and Adele um, mm -hmm. set fire to the rain uh, full of passion full of energy energy yeah so yeah. congratulations to cinnamon on that as well so good so good on that we started off the weekend with Rosemary's Bay, and performing that night was Colin Bay. Mm -hmm. He did a lovely duet with Harvey Steele, Dream On, a bit of 80s classic rock and roll, something you might know. All right, we're a little bit. <laughs> uh, it was the Glee version with uh, Neil Patrick Harris, which uh, was super cool. Uh, yeah, it was great to see. Fun number, probably again, one of my favorites of the night. But again, I, I, I'm not surprised that I had a lot of favorites of the night because that's the point. It was the Stiletto Awards. It was yeah. people, people put some effort in. It was good to see. Speaking of efforts, and I had these light up antlers. <laughs> I've never, never done a light up antler, but it's I true. did that. And it's they true. are 
on the bookshelf behind me there. It was kind of a trend alert. There was a few uh, oh, light up, light up. Duke. Outfit. The Duke had some too. And the I, Duke had a light up outfit as well. Absolutely. I recall. Uh, but yeah, there was definitely some fantastic numbers from some local legends, uh, Godiva and uh, Ivy League, Davina Die For, Sister Mary Clarence. We also brought in some people. We had Flamingo from Saskatchewan. Yes, flew in from Saskatchewan. And of course, coming up from Calgary, as we mentioned, Duke Carson did a fantastic number. So good to see Duke. Uh, yeah, and banged out a really cool performance. And uh, yeah, I didn't know what, it, what to expect when it started off. And I was just kind of like, where's my rock and roll? But then, but then of course. <laughs> so yeah, uh, congratulations to Duke on coming up. It was great to see you. On top of all the awards and, and regular performances, there was also a little bit of business that needed to be taken care of, including a step-down performance from one Vanity Fair. Uh, Vanity had a stunning look the entire evening uh, mm -hmm. with this just like incredible hat that was, oh, anyway. Uh, she looked elegant the entire yeah, night. Yeah, absolutely. The, she looked like she was ready to go to the races and bet on the horses. <laughs> it was fabulous. Um, and then for her step down number, she actually flipped it and uh, flipped it down and reversed it, <laughs> and actually did work it. Uh, and not just even the Missy Elliott version, but the the YouTube viral video <laughs> of the old woman <laughs> singing ah! karaoke in the park. Uh, so yeah, it was just, it was one of my favorite Van Eden numbers. It was just, it was just a fantastic way just to show that you can look good and know what you're doing and still not take yourself too seriously. So, I mean, it looks so comfy. The right? The tracksuit looks comfy. She did say it was comfortable and she may have found her new look. And it's still glittered. <laughs> and with somebody stepping down, mm -hmm. of course, somebody else needs to step up mm -hmm. to the plate as Miss Evolution. It's true. And what better choice than to go with her daughter, Ivy League. Yay! Ivy League, congratulations on being the new Miss Evo. Absolutely. Making it five yes. Miss Evos. Yes. Five E League, as, as <gasps> Rob was teasing. Five E League. He's got one for all of them. Yeah. Uh, five E League. <laughs> One other person I want to get into before we go into the awards was Sephoria with her number Shoes. Um, as somebody who was a teenager in the 2000s, I clearly remember that song. Loved it. It's a piece of internet history that I hope never gets erased and keep, continues on. Yeah. It doesn't really have that connection for me. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a cute number, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, when I have no connection to the thing, you know what I mean? I'm kind That's of okay. Lost That's to young it. people. You right? Know <laughs> exactly. Whereas I really enjoyed Dream On. <laughs> <laughs> so it all comes full circle. Uh, See, but yeah, I enjoy watching Sephoria. So, uh, but yeah, I had no personal connection to it. That's all. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a fun night performance wise, all around. And performances weren't the only reason we were there. We also thought maybe some awards should be given away at these Stiletto Awards, and so they did indeed give away quite a few. The Breakthrough Performer of the Year was... Put in! The Most Improved Performer of the Year was... Hold on, let me go check. It actually went to No Vagina, but since she wasn't around... I had to accept it on her behalf. So we have your stiletto, Nova, and we'll just keep it here for safekeeping. There. Well, that looks nice there. We won't forget. <laughs> we didn't win one this year. It looks kind of nice as the set. Speaking of kindest performer, did you win? No. <laughs> <laughs> Who did? Ivy League. No, I mean, I won. No kidding. Ivy <laughs> League won kindest performer. <laughs> uh, funniest performer. Ivy League again. Best host. Lilith Fair. Most theatrical. Lilith Fair again. Drag Mentor. That one went to Sister Mary Clarence. Category is Best Face. Sephoria. Costumes. Eden Out. Choreography. Creme Brulee. <laughs> Favorite non-Evo event. Yellowhead Drag Brunch. Favorite Evo event. Moulin Rouge. And by the way, I totally love that show and I'm so happy it won. 
Um, the Knight and David Drag Supporter Award. Mary Conkin. Congratulations, Mary. And to all drag supporters, Doe salutes you. Uh, the Best Foot Forward Award. That one went to Dixon Cunts. Do you know who happened to go into the Hall of Legends this year? I do. Chelsea Horrendous and Ruby Hyman, congrats on Hall of Legends 2019. You are passing the stilettos test with flying colors. Do you happen to know who won the best duet or group performance? That went to Lilith Fair, Kat Marlowe, and Chelsea Horrendous with the number The Bird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, second to last question. Penultimate question, if you will. Okay. Performance? Of the year! Easy. It went to Cat Marlowe Menorah with Taking Up Space. Which truly is just a fantastic number. And, oh, that reveal. And I still I, live for it. And I'm still, uh, right now I'm okay if you pause this to go watch that right now because it's really worth it. Anyway, um, final category is Performer of the Year. Well deserved. It was Lilith Fair this year. Congratulations, finally, to Lilith Fair, winner of Performer of the Year. Well deserved, and uh, I'm super proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations to all the winners. Everyone did so amazing. Yeah, it was such a fantastic night. And uh, if for some reason we somehow forgot one of those, then I apologize profusely. Uh, remember, it's a pothead and dandy doing this. So. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a break. Friday at Evolution Wonder Lounge, the search for Alberta's next drag superstar makes its first Edmonton stop at Evolution Wonder Lounge. There are nine people vying for four or five? I'm not 100% sure as to how many people are going through the semi Yeah, no, I'm not uh, So, but anyway, nine people are vying for X amount of spots uh, in the semi-final featuring Henna Stacey Lane Matthews. Very exciting. Very exciting. Uh, who are the nine people that are running in this category? Who's your competition? There's Godiva, Severina, Pheromone Kills, Miss Indecisive, mm -hmm. Plastica, I Gotta Go, Yolanka, Shellazon, and Gigi. It's going to be a pretty good show. Yeah, it's really good. I'm going to be looking forward to see who's going forward. And of course, I'm obviously excited for my other preliminary that's on March 1st. Absolutely. In Calgary on Friday at Dickens Pub is the qualifiers for Alberta's next drag superstar. And uh, it's going to be super exciting. Duke Carson's going to be hosting that again. There are nine people that have qualified for the qualifier, um, including Electrocute, Angelina Starchild, the marvelous Moby Dick, Dana Hart, Shane On You, Oliver Twirl, I don't know, Anita D, and Valerie Hunt. If you're in Calgary, you should definitely check out the show. On Saturday at Evolution Wonder Lounge, the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose is having their Dukes and Diamonds event. It's always a really fun time with a diamond wall. You pay $5, you can pick a prize, mm -hmm. find out what the prize is, and as well as well 50-50 and silent auction, so multiple opportunities for fundraising. This one is hosted, of course, by this year's Duke and Duchess, Chris Bear and Rexy Resurrection. And yeah, I know they Rexy. Yes, Rexy. And I'm double duty. <laughs> and I know they've been doing a heck of a lot of work to get ready for this event. So I uh, look forward to seeing a bunch of you there. And stick around, because later that evening, it is Fly Your Colors with Bible Girl. Um, she's going to put on some fabulous numbers, and I believe there's some local talent opening for her as well, if I'm not mistaken. It's going to be a fantastic show, so you should definitely yeah, check out Bible Girl. Excited. But you've got to get your tickets in advance, I'm pretty sure, so check the yeah. online. Yeah, make sure you got tickets and stuff. That would be good. <laughs> you just can't get in, because Bambi and Ferris Bambi said we, said we should come. <laughs> ba we're here with Bambi and Ferris. Another event going on across the city is Fruit Loop. It's their February fling. I said it. Mm -hmm. And that's at Urban Tavern 
and co-hosted by Fitzy and Androgyny, I believe. Mm -hmm. And also performing is Miss Indecisive. And on Sunday, because that's not enough drag, on Sunday we have yet another event. It's a very special episode of the Sunday Review at Evolution Wonder Lounge. And it's Davina's birthday comedy review show. Uh, tell us about who's in that. It's going to be a fantastic show. We've got Lilith and Kat and uh, Sister Mary Clarence and Ruby Hyman and, of course, Davina and more. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a fun show. So you should definitely check it out. And you can come wish the birthday girl a happy birthday. Because bitch is getting old. Mm-hmm. She's got to be at least 23 or something by now. All in all, we have yet another super busy weekend coming your way, so uh, watch for Dragging Our Heels Out and About, capturing all the action, and then you can check out the footage next week! Um, there are a few more things coming up down the road that I do want to mention, um, including the finale for Alberta's Next Drag Superstar with Latrice Royale. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Violet Tchotchke is coming soon. Uh, you should be checking out Evolution Wonder Lounge for tickets to all of these events because they are going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. On March the 10th, the Dope Show is putting together Creative Control where we are taking a bunch of fantastic performers and making them do what we want because we're bossy bitches. So that's going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, definitely check that out as well. I probably sent you an invite to the event, so click going. Thank you. Uh, while you're clicking things on the interwebs, why don't you go on to the YouTube and click like and share and subscribe and all those wonderful things that makes us so happy on our YouTube channel because then YouTube's just like, you guys are doing really good and like, you know, like, we want to like share your stuff more. And we're like, okay, cool. It works out for all of us. So anyway, uh, you guys should go do that. And now that we're done yakking, you can go check out those 50 plus videos that I was just talking about. But first, but first, what's your pick of the week? Little fair brown lip liner. Lip liner. Brown lip liner. Yeah, it's a good one. Mm -hmm. What about you? My pick of the week is going to Vanity Fair for Work It. She flipped it. She reversed it. She yum yum and yum and yum nah. Mm -hmm. When she used to read me stories when I was growing up, that was one of my favorites that she used to read me. So. Love Grandma Vanity. She's so sweet. Uh, so yeah, it's an all fair. All fair picks of the week. <laughs> all uh, fair. All fair. fair, is fair. <laughs> it's true. Uh, as usual, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Get out of our living room. Get out of here. <laughs> Go away. Uh...